Hi, today we'll build this multi-purpose lithium-ion battery pack. You have probably seen my old rant video about drill batteries already. Nickel cadmium batteries are really frustrating since they self-discharge and are always empty when you want to use your power tool. I have replaced the shabby battery with an lead acid battery and some cables. This solution was better but clunky and heavy. Today lithium ion batteries are finally more common in power tools. However, I think it's too wasteful to dispose a working drill. And also I am a cheap ass miser. I salvaged some 18650 lithium ion cells from old laptops. You can also get 18650 cells on the internet easily since they are industry standard. 18mm diameter and 650mm in length. Maximum charging voltage is 4.2 volts. Nominal voltage is around 3.6 to 3.7 volts. That is typical for the most lithium ion batteries. The capacity is measured in microamp hours. You can calculate easily how long a charge would last if you discharge it with a specific current. I measured the capacity of my old batteries using the test function of this charger. This drill works on 9.6 volts, so we will have to put three cells in series. Even the maximum voltage could exceed 12 volts, it's not really a problem. There is only a motor inside and I used it on a 15 volts of the lead acid battery before. I tested it with three of the old cells. It worked okay, but it was not powerful enough. On heavy load the cells can provide enough current to sustain the operating voltage. A simple solution is to double up the batteries. We can pair up the batteries and put three of those pairs in series. This should be good enough. The 18650 batteries didn't fit in the old battery compartment. Now comes the hard part. If you don't like off the shelf compartments and duct tape them to the drill, it would work though. Then we have to design a 3D printed case. I took some measurements and started to reconstruct a version of the battery pack using Blender. You could use Fusion or whatever you like. I'm just familiar with Blender and it works for me. The final result was ridiculously complicated. And then I printed the parts. If you don't have a 3D printer, you can visit a makerspace close to you. Nowadays also 3D printers are already affordable with $200 for a basic model. The pack I designed consists of three main parts. The shaft is the part specific to my old drill. You could simply modify this one to your needs and reuse the other parts. I even take the custom connector from the old battery pack for simplicity. I leave the thermistor unused in place. Fun fact, it wasn't used by neither the drill nor the old charger. Why? We need to use thick copper wires for the main leads to get all the current through. This spacer will hold the connector in place. The bottom part is simply the battery compartment, which can be also used standalone for other projects. I bought some battery terminals and designed the case around them. To connect two batteries in parallel, I soldered the terminals pairwise and put them in. Now we have to take a short look on the charging of lithium cells in series. The two cells in parallel can be seen as one since they balance each other, as long none of them is broken. We could charge the series by simply using the maximum charging voltage of 4.2 volts times the cells in series. We have also to limit the charging current. Since I don't have a rating I simply use 1C, which means one of their capacity per hour. That means we can charge a 2 amp battery in one hour using 2 amps. Charging batteries in series has some problems. If the cell charge is unbalanced, which happens eventually since the cells are not 100% equal, single cells could overcharge and even explode. The same for discharging. Even though the total voltage could be within limits, single cells could overdischarge and possibly damage the cell. The solution to this is to add a connection between each cell. 
This way even a cheap balance charger like this one can measure and rebalance individual cells. To protect the pack from over discharge we can use this voltage tester which monitors each cell and alarms if the voltage is too low. I constructed the middle part of my pack to provide a socket for the tester and this JST socket which is common for balanced chargers. The connector is wired like this. Positive side of the pack here, negative here and here the cells in between. For the main charging leads I added two standard 4mm sockets. This way we can also tap the pack for other purposes. If you don't like to use a balanced charger you can also charge individual cells but this is probably less convenient. Or you can also take cells with built-in protection circuits. I wired everything and assembled the three parts. When putting in the batteries, try to pair them in a way such that the pairs end up with almost equal capacity. This way we can utilize the pack the most. The tester can be unplugged easily since there is no off switch. The drill works great. Now when fully charged we have around 12 volts of power that we can tap for any purpose. We can connect a small 12 volts inverter to convert it to mains voltage and power any other tool. Nice! I paid under 20 bucks for each of the chargers, a few euros for the printing and some cents for the small parts. Even though it took me two days to construct a case, it was fun and now I can print as many as I need. You will find links to some parts in the description. If you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to subscribe for weekly projects. And thanks to my patrons for the support. Bye!